Well, good morning, folks. Just got done with our uh, meeting at the bank. And uh, we got our operating loan of 250000 And uh, the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to run over here and we're going to fill this tank up with diesel right away because we are most likely going to need it. Should last us for a little while. <clears throat> so we'll get some stuff hooked up and ready right away. Uh, the first thing that we'll grab is our. little tender trailer and we'll run that in and we'll get it loaded up with some seed and we'll be ready to plant right away as soon as we are as soon as we have the fields prepped for it build up. So I think we're going to lime our wheat fields first. Oh boy. Um, we'll lime them and then we'll plant them, and then roll them right away. Um, I think wheat is the only thing that we can plant right now anyways. So we're going to um, just focus on those fields first and get those done. bushels of seed so we'll see uh, how far that gets us hopefully decent amount because that was almost eight thousand dollars for this trailer it's 
we want to be able to have enough money to get all the way to harvest. So I think beans, the fact that we are farming three crops and we have three bins, uh, we'll fill one bin with each crop and anything extra will just go straight into the co-op. Um, that way it gives us grain to play the market with and if we have any extra then we can uh, generate a little bit of income as we're going. It may not be a whole lot, but it'll be a little bit of something at least. this right up next to the bins for now. And then we're going to grab out we we're going to use the international so we got to get this guy out of our way. him off to the side here. That'll work. Um, first, let's hook the uh, 46 or 4850 here up to the rain drill. This guy is ready to go. Perfect. All right, now we can grab the international and we'll head on over to the co-op. Let's just take a look at our farm plan here. Oh, sorry, oats. That is what I have put down. Is that what we're doing? Yes, okay. So I wanted to make sure, yeah, because canola and barley have to be planted in the fall. So we could get something seeded into our oat ground or even our corn ground for next year but so we need 28 and 40 so that's gonna be those two right there okay perfect let's get this one out of here up with uh, lime. Let's see here, did I? I still can't purchase soil maps. Hmm. I have to get that figured out quick. We'll run down and we'll get loaded up and then uh, I will get that looked at and figure out why get soil maps. I might still have some mod activated or something that's messing with it. So I will look into that. It might be... I have a feeling I know exactly which one it is, so...
but we'll get over here and get filled up first. And I'll uh, quick fix that. Because we definitely want to know what, uh, what we're needing for our fields. So. down to the opposite end of the yard here. We'll pull under and we'll get us loaded up. And I think I might get into an hydrous on this map, we'll see. down the road. Okay, let's get our cover opened up and we'll get filled up. This is going to be expensive. A thousand bucks. Just the cover off that. Just shy of eight yards. Okay, um, I will quick fix uh, the soil map issue, and then uh, we'll be right back and we'll be at the field. Alrighty folks, crisis is averted, and we do have uh, soil maps now. As you can see, oh, there's an autosave, of course, right when it's least convenient. So you can see pH isn't terrible, but we are going to get that brought up some. So we have these two fields here first. These are going to be our oat fields. So we're going to get these taken care of right away. So that way we can jump right into planting them. Or seeding them, whatever you want to call it. This is one job that I definitely cannot uh, do in first person. This one's a little too difficult to do. But we will do some first person action as soon as we get to uh, seeding. So 
Looks like we'll go down and back and pretty much have this one wrapped up. It's the nice thing about uh, these big spreaders on uh, smaller fields like this is it definitely doesn't take long. Yep, we can see we're getting a nice, perfect, darker green going on. And uh, fertilizer's actually not going by too fast, but we're not adjusting a whole lot. So, or sorry, lime, not fertilizer, which is a good thing because we want this to last as long as we can get it to. Let's see here, perfect. We're gonna clean up all of it. I have a couple skips here and there, but we'll call it good. It'll be all right. Yeah, it's definitely hard to uh, try and do this in first person. It'd be different if our spreader had booms or something on it, then we could actually see where we're at, but with this one, you just can't. Perfect. So, that is uh, field 28 done. So we'll go ahead and mark that down as done. head over here to our next one, field 40. And I am now thinking of it, we still don't have a pressure washer in the yard. So once we get pulled in here, we're going to look into that, because we will want a pressure washer. We want to try and keep our equipment fairly nice, because we don't know how long we're going to need it to last us. So let's just take a peek here. Tools. New cooperative chemicals. Interesting. Okay, now let's find what we came here to look for. Perfect. So we're gonna go with this older international um, pressure washer that uh, fits in with everything else pretty much. And we're just gonna throw that right beside the door there. Perfect. All right, let's get this field spread, and then uh, we'll get the drill loaded today yet, and then uh, we'll seed in a, another video. Or maybe we'll get started today, we'll see. This field's definitely not going to take very long or very much either. It's hard to see around the shadows of the trees there. Oh, get her. Yeah, that, lights don't help a whole lot, but that's all right. And then we'll make.
make one pass back down and we'll have this one done as well. Too bad seating won't be like that. It'll take us a while, but we'll get her done. Now thinking of it, we can actually hook our Traction King up to our Land Roller. We can use it to uh, roll our fields. So let's go ahead, we're gonna throw the tarp back on this thing. Now we're gonna take this into the yard. And uh, I think we'll hook the Traction King up to our Land Roller. I don't know why, but this tractor just doesn't like this spreader for whatever reason. It always kind of acts goofy with it. I'm not too sure of why, but it does. Um, let's just swing this around the building here. Because we're obviously far from done with it, so... Let's pull it up right here for now. Alright. So we'll grab this guy and get him hooked up so he's ready. We'll just back up over there. lined up here. Perfect. Alright. So, that's ready to go. And we have field 40 done. Okay. So, let's swing. Oh, let's start it first. There we go. Okay, we'll get that put out. get under there the best that we can. Should have definitely went with the, uh, ooh, we might have to go with the longer one here. Let's see if we can change that. I thought, I guess I never really thought of that. Oh, no, we don't want the butler bin. We want, oh boy. Let's see, how about if we walk up to the pickup? Okay, there we go. Uh, customize. Okay, we need the extension back on and our big rims. Let's go... Let's go with the 14 foot. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, there we go. Now we'll be okay. 
I should have thought of that uh, right away there. Okay, I think we have to have the truck running. Yes, we do, okay. And we should have came in at it a little straighter, but that's all right. Close our cover, and then we need oats. Right. Let's get her seat in here. So we'll get our end rows done first. Sharp of a turn there. Okay. Can kind of tell where we get seated here. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder why it skipped right there. Probably could seed with the international, but interesting. I'm not sure of why it doesn't want to seed when we're going around a curve. Let's get cruise set up here. All right, let's do one more along this edge here. I think what it is, is I think it sits too high on this tractor, actually. So when you're turning, it uh, actually comes off the ground. Because I see it is hooking up way up there instead of down on the bottom like it's supposed to. just completely gets rid of our normal hitch. Hmm. Let's try our other tractor once, because I'm curious if it's a problem with this tractor, or 
if it's just the drill itself being goofy. So let's go run over with this and try it here. We'll get this figured out and then uh, we'll probably call it an episode. up to this guy. See, this tractor hooks up just fine. So, I think we'll be using the International for this. So that means this guy can actually go onto the roller. Or, we'll just flip-flop him. We'll run this guy on the spreader. Might be a little overkill for it, but it'll work. Because then once we seed our oats, we're going to want to get some liquid fertilizer to put down on our oat field there. And we're going to want that international for it anyways. So. so we'll just do a little bit of flip-flop here. Not take out our AC unit. Perfect. Okay. So, we'll just run it that way. Okay. I will finish up end rows on the other end here. And uh, get the field started and ready. And then, uh, when we come back, we will get this field finished up and get our other field seated and wrap up oats for uh, this spring. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to uh, support the channel if you like what you see. And as always folks, we'll catch you all in the next video.